Next is question number 10.17. Out of C6H5CH2Cl and C6H5CHCLC6H5, which is more easily hydrolyzed by aqueous KOH? Now, two things to be remembered. One is the structure of this compound and the function of aqueous KOH. So here, C6H5CH2Cl is an easy benzene ring with the CH2 and the Cl. On the other hand, this molecule, which is two C6H5s are there with a CH in the center and another C6H5. All right, with the Cl here. Now for both of this, you need to see which one will get hydrolyzed by aqueous KOH. One thing to be remembered is when you have KOH and if it is aqueous, this will function as a nucleophile. All right, so here if it has to function as a nucleophile, first thing to be noticed is if you want the reaction to get hydrolyzed, the nature of the carbon here. So for that, you need to check how many hydrogens are there or what are the R groups bonded to it. So here, the Cl is bonded to a carbon that has two hydrogens and one R group here. So this particular carbon is a primary carbon. Similarly, the Cl is bonded to a carbon that has only one hydrogen but two R groups. So the nature of this carbon is going to be a secondary carbon. So if you're trying to look at its displacement with an OH- minus from this molecule, you will start forming first a carbocation. So carbocation, when I'm trying to form, this will become CH2+. Plus. And for this, this will become benzene ring with a CH+, plus and another benzene ring. So these are the carbocations. So this is a secondary carbocation and this is a primary carbocation. So first thing you need to identify is if the carbocation is stable, then, then the compound can be easily hydrolyzed. This is one thing that you should understand. If the carbocation is stable, then it can be easily hydrolyzed. So when we look at the stability of the carbocation, we know tertiary carbocations are highly stable. After that, we have secondary carbocation and after that, we have primary carbocation. So here are the two types of carbocations that you have. One is a primary, the other one is secondary. So obviously, the secondary carbocation formed from this compound will get hydrolyzed very easily. So therefore, we can say that C6H5CHCl C6H5 can be hydrolyzed easily. So that's how you come to a conclusion. So look at the nature of a carbocation form and then check what is the order of priority for that carbocation. Then decide which one can be hydrolyzed easily.